let's talk about reasonably priced streaming computers. In the past few years, streaming has become one of the most popular and growing segments on the internet. In addition to that, due to the current world events, electronics and especially graphics cards are extremely hard to come by and really, really expensive, way more expensive than they should be. If you're a content creator, either a streamer or a video creator, you'll know the problem that you'll have of making all of your content on the same computer and at the same time trying to record or stream and how taxing it can be on one computer, especially on your graphics card or CPU, depending on what you're using. So if you've ever had issues with OBS showing the infamous dropped frames, your games or things will start stuttering or lagging when you're recording or streaming, that's when you need to start thinking about, do you need to either upgrade your computer or do you need to get a streaming computer? So some of the advantages of having a streaming computer is that now you'll have a dedicated computer to handle all that crazy stuff that you're doing while you're recording in OBS or while you're streaming. If you're at this point where you're deciding you need some kind of an upgrade, either a graphics card or a streaming computer, here's a couple things to think about. When you're upgrading your computer, you're always going to have kind of a set of diminishing returns. Upgrading your computer to solve this problem has a much smaller benefit because basically everything is still on the same computer and will never be as good as having a dedicated piece of hardware that is meant to handle one thing. So that is where the streaming computer comes in. Before we talk about the streaming computer, no matter what streaming computer that you're going to be getting or setting up, there's always going to be some extra costs. So here are some other things that you're going to need to think about. You need to think about capture cards. You will need to get capture cards in order for your, your gaming or your VTubing computer to be captured on your streaming computer. You're also going to need to think about having a monitor, mouse and keyboard as well. I'm going to have some links in the description down below to capture cards that I've personally used and that work for either Mac OS or Windows. The secondary thing to think about is, do you want to go Windows or Mac? So here's the problem with going for a Windows computer right now is that decent Windows computers are really, really expensive. Basically, they're all over a thousand dollars and the used market is not that great now either. So you could try to build one. The problem is, is that a 1660 Super uh, roughly goes for around $500 US just for the graphics card alone. And now you have to tack on all that extra other costs of motherboard, CPU, RAM, case, and all that nonsense. The best value streaming computer that you can get right now off the shelf is the Mac Mini M1 that you could purchase for $699. I've been using the Apple M1 Mac mini on my stream for the last few months. And I've basically have been not experiencing any issues since I've been using it. If you're wondering how well OBS works for streaming and recording, this video is actually recorded using the Mac mini M1 and on my streams, it's also been streaming with the Mac mini M1 on 1080p using 6,000 kilobit encoding bitrate. These settings on OBS leaves room for plenty of other tasks that can be done in the background as well. Even at these settings, OBS can still get better as soon as it gets native encoding support, because right now OBS is not actually running on native support. So the performance that you see right now can will actually get better once OBS adopts native Apple encoder support. And if you don't believe me, you can check out my stream. And most of the plugins like StreamFX and other plugins that you would want to use with OBS are also compatible as well. If you want to check out for yourself or if you have any additional questions, you could check out my Twitch channel, all of my VODs that you can see on the channel. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the description down below, or you can join our the community on Discord or post in the AMA in the Reddit. I'd like to take this time to say thank you so much to my patrons on Patreon. Without your help and support, I would not be able to make videos like this. Thank you so much.